All right. We are live. BJ Rains of the Idaho Press down here in Las Vegas in the media room at Thomas and Mack Center. Derek Alston Jr. Boise State getting set to play tomorrow against Nevada in the quarterfinals of the Mountain West Tournament. Derek, I know you had study hall this morning. I mean, you got they're still making you do some schoolwork down here. It's not just basketball, huh? No, 100%. It's kind of just, you know, how it always is being a student athlete. But it's exciting being this time of year, you know, getting into March and uh, you know, all these all these games count, and these are the ones you got to want to play. So we're we're excited to get after it tomorrow. Well, what has the last week been like for you guys? Obviously, you know, a rough patch, uh, three game losing streak. But I know Coach Rice said you guys first and foremost just needed a couple days to kind of refresh mentally, physically. Uh, you know, what has the last week been like trying to turn that page for for obviously the most important time of the year here in the tournament? Yeah, I think that was the biggest thing. I think just maybe I think all of us mentally just kind of needed to break away from each other for a couple of days. So we got a couple of days off and things like that. Just away from each other out of the gym is kind of just to refresh our minds our bodies to kind of uh get ready for what's ahead because like i said we still have a lot to play for and still a lot of you know everything's ahead of us with how long we want to continue continue this season so i think that was the biggest thing and then we had a good uh you know four days of practice you know kind of leading up to this and uh, we got one more today so it, it's been it's been exciting you know to kind of get back with everybody and i think everybody's excited and hungry to get to get back at it and then we have a big opportunity um, on thursday and then you know to win this tournament so we're excited about it the, uh, yeah, I know the three-game losing streak obviously came at a, a rough time, but you look at all those games, you were right there in both San Diego State games, could have won you know, either one of those games. And I don't know if it just carried over to the Fresno game or what, but, I mean, do you feel like that um, it's not some you know huge issue for you guys right now? It was just games that you know didn't go your way there and you missed some shots maybe you normally make? I mean, is it not – I guess you guys aren't overly concerned, you know, with, with how you're heading into the tournament? Yeah, no, I don't think there's really a big concern. You know, I think that we made the adjustments that we needed to in these days of practice, and I think that – um, those are going to really, I think, help us, you know, in this in this last kind of final stretch. So, like I said, I think everybody's really excited to play. Everyone's ready to get after it. And um, like I said, these are the games that really count. So I think everybody's ready to, you know, put their best foot forward and go get it done. Well, what about for you personally? We've talked a lot about, you know, this kind of being your last go at it and wanting to write that story. And um, maybe the last, you know, the, the chapter last week wasn't the, the one you would have wanted to written, but the book's not over yet, so to speak. Uh, what, what, I know you've talked a lot about it a lot, but what is kind of your mindset and your goals and hopes here and the fact that as up and down as this season has been, as your career has been, you, you still have everything and you can still write that same legacy you've always wanted to here over the next couple of days? Yeah, 100%. I think just, you know, for me, I'm just trying to do the things that I can control. You know, just trying to just, and like I said, enjoy every single day I got left because I don't, you know, like I said, for me, um, you know, I'm the author of my story and things like that, but I still don't really can't control a lot of, you know, control everything, which is, you know, in a sense. So, I'm, you know, for me, I'm just trying to enjoy these, you know, enjoy these last, you know, these last games, my last Mountain West tournament, trying to do the best that I can um, just to pour into other guys and, and just to be the best teammate that I can be. And, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm excited. You know, these are, you know, Mountain West tournament time is always, a, you know, a time for me that I'm excited about. And we still, like I said, have a lot to play for. So I think I'm very excited to get after it. We've seen you obviously take over games, you know, that second half of that San Diego State game. We've seen games where you're facilitating for other guys. I mean, how do you kind of look at this tournament and, and um, what you want to do? And obviously you can't do it all yourself. So how do you kind of uh, look at your mindset in terms of not wanting to do too much? Because sometimes you'd probably admit maybe you try to do too much and, and you know, and force things at times. But how, how do you kind of way wanting to, you know, obviously be the guy that leads this team to a victory, but also wanting to, you know, make sure you're you're – being part of the team, so to speak. Yeah, I think it's just, I mean, it's just, I think it's just doing my role and just being who I am and just trying to be the best possible player on the floor. I know that's not all about scoring for me, you know, things like that. And I think maybe uh, those last kind of two games, I kind of just, you know, wanted to put all that on my shoulders and knowing that that's not really what I have to do out there. And, you know, being able just to kind of take what the game gives me and just kind of um, be a lead in whether that's trying to score, you know, and scoring or just making the right plays every single time is what, you know, is what I'm, what I'm trying to get back to. We've seen Derek, you know, it goes one of two ways when teams have kind of losing streaks like this and they regroup and sometimes it, you know, it caves in and goes the other way and it's a bad loss and everyone says, oh, we should have seen this coming. And sometimes it does galvanize you guys and teams go on runs and it can be a turning point. What what, what makes you confident, I guess, whether it be the last week of practice and just the mood of the team in the hotel today and just what makes you confident, I guess, that this team can can uh, take that positive turn and, and, and really still make something of this? Yeah, I think just the guys that we have in our locker room. You know, we have a lot of high character guys, and um, I think our, our coaches have done a really good well, a good job of just giving us, you know, a really good plan. Um, I think just for the rest of the season of, of what we can do, and I think our principles too, just how we sharpen those up. I think in those last couple of days. So I think what we, what we did in those last, you know, in these last couple of days of practice is, I think, the best job that we could do. So now we just got to go out there and let it rip. Well, who are some? You know, you know. 
No, I'm not asking you to tell us about Abu Kijab. I know obviously Leon was kind of not saying much, but if, if who are some other guys that would have to step up, I guess, if uh, depending on his status, we know we've seen, you know, E-Man at times uh, in the Fresno game, he obviously played well. We've seen him do some things. He would seem like a guy. I mean, who, who, who are some guys in this tournament other than yourself that you think are, are really going to need to, you know, be big for you guys to, to make a run here and do what you want to do? I know the easy answer is everybody, but is there a guy or two you're looking at saying he's ready to bust out this week or? I mean, I'm not looking at anybody in particular. You know, I think everybody knows what they have to do, and just being a star in their role is a big thing. Uh, you know, I mean, like I said, I think it's not it's not all on, all on one guy. You know, it's a team effort, and I think 1 through 15 has to be ready to go. Um, you know, like I said, in this time, you never know what's going to happen. So I think we just all have to be ready and all have to be stars in our role, and I think if we do that, we'll be just fine. Do you look at, you know, Joe Lenardi's bracketology? I mean, you guys are college kids. You obviously want to be in the tournament next week, and you guys are right there, you know, last team in, first team out, wherever you look. You're literally as close to the bubble as you guys can be right now. How, how do you guys look at you obviously want to win this tournament and not, you know, take care of any bubble talk by winning the tournament, but what is your take maybe on where you guys sit and, oh, we need to win two games or one game, or how, how are you looking at your guys' spot on the bubble here? I mean, I'm just looking at it as winning the tournament. You know, I mean, I just kind of look back to – you know, just being here at Boise State and how what the Mountain West has done for us and things like that. You know, I don't really kind of I don't want to leave it up to anybody in that in that sort of sense. You know, I rather just go out there and try and get that automatic bid by winning the tournament. But like I said, we just want to do do the best job we can and show the best we can here and, and try and win as many games as we can. Is it I don't know stressful, nerve wracking? What what's the feeling? You know, roughly twenty seven hours, or whatever, away from you know, potentially your, your last game at Boise State. And, and obviously you hope you have, you know, seven, eight, nine, whatever more games left. But, how, you know, just that that feeling now of do or die and every game could, could be your last. Uh, what, what's that feeling like for you when you think back to the last five years here? Yeah, it's, it's been crazy, you know. And, I, and then for me, it's not really stressful, you know, because I think that when I told myself, you know, I was going to come to Boise State, I knew that when I, whenever I was done here, I was going to leave with no regret. And I have, like I said, no regrets in my career. You know, I feel like I put, you know, I've, I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I think I've really improved on my mistakes and been able to improve not only as a person, but as a, you know, I mean, as a player, but as a person as well. And I'm just thankful, like I said, for my experience here. And, you know, I want to I want to fight to keep and I want to keep fighting my butt up to keep it going as long as it can. You know, and, um, you know, whenever it does, I'm going to have no regret. And I'm thankful for, you know, BSU, Coach Rice and this program for everything they've done for me. Thankful for you guys and media for being so great with me and great with this team. And it, it's been amazing, but, you know, I'm not ready to say goodbye yet. What, uh, well, neither are the fans, neither are the media, Derek. We hope it is a long run. The last couple of things here, we'll get you out of here. What, this tournament as a whole, you look at, you know, there's not like that one, you know, last year's, you know, top 10 San Diego State team or something. And you got, you know, four teams all going there. I mean, it does seem like there's four or five, you know, maybe six, seven teams that are going into this tournament thinking they have a legitimate chance to win this you guys are obviously one of them you've been a part of this tournament you know what five years now do, do you feel like it's as wide open maybe and as many teams are going and thinking they have a chance this year that you can remember no I think yeah 100 percent you know I think in years prior it's always kind of been you know one or one team you know that's for sure and then maybe one or two teams but I think this year it's really it's really wide open I think it's got us excited it's probably got a lot of other teams excited which is kind of how um, I think how balanced the league has been this year. So it, it's exciting knowing that anybody can come out here and win it. You know, we're we're going to try and do our best to go out there and get that trophy. And let's talk quickly about the matchup with Nevada as we wrap this up. Uh, two games, and obviously you guys were right there in both those games. Uh, the first game led for much of the game, and obviously Sherfield hit a big shot late. I mean, this isn't like a thing where you guys are obviously thinking, oh, they beat us both games, we have no chance. I mean, the, the way what did you see in those two games, and I guess what needs to, to change to have the result be different tomorrow? Yeah, I think just making it very hard for Sherfield. You know, he's a, he's a great player. Like I said, um, he's got to have the ball in his hands a lot. So I think just really protecting the box and protecting the paint, I think, is something that we didn't do great in those two games. I think we gave him a little bit too many easy, just easy points, whether that was in transition or um, just in the half court. Just kind of, I think just stuff that you know that, that's kind of uncharacteristic for us. So I think if we take away a lot of those points, and um, you know, I think the big key of the game is who's going to get the easier shots. You know, and I think in those two games, they definitely won that battle. So. Uh, we just got to make we got to make it a lot tougher on them and just continue on, off, on the offense for our side to try and get, you know, the best shots and the easiest shots that we can. Well, Derek, best of luck tomorrow. Appreciate your time. And I know fans are looking forward to the game and they're looking forward to hopefully seeing three games this week and some games next week as well. Uh, good luck, man, and go get it done and appreciate your time today. Yep. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Yep. Take care, Derek. There he is. Derek Alston from Boise State. Appreciate uh, his time uh, joining us as uh, Boise State uh, gets set to play on Thursday. 3.30 is the uh, game time they'll play uh, against Nevada in the 4-5 game in the quarterfinals of the 
Mountain West Tournament. I will be back uh, in about an hour and a half, 1.30 Pacific, 2.30 Mountain Time here on the social media channels. We'll have another live show. Chris Murray is going to join us. He is the uh, beat writer for Nevada, um, and he has uh, been covering this league for a long time. So we're going to get him on here. We're going to have John Mallory. We got Bob Beeler, the voice of the Broncos, coming up tomorrow morning. I think Jeff Grammer is going to stop by. So uh, tons of these little videos, and we'll take questions and comments uh, Derek didn't have a lot of time. He only had about 10 minutes, so uh, appreciate his time. But we'll try to uh, bring you as close to the action as you can be since there's no open, um, you know, no fans in the tournament this year. And uh, we'll try to get you as much coverage and as many different interviews and things as we can uh, throughout this process of the Mountain West Tournament here as Boise State hopes to uh, hopes to uh, get it done. And, uh, again, no word on Abu Kijab yet. Don't know if he's going to be able to play. Leon Rice was uh, pretty much not talking about his status much yesterday. Didn't want to talk about it. Got a story up on blueturfsports.com about that. And, uh, obviously, we'll have uh, full coverage the rest of the day today and tomorrow on the website, blueturfsports.com, in the print edition of the Idaho Press. And, again, right here on the social media channels, Twitter and Facebook. Make sure you follow at Blue Turf Sports on Twitter, Blue Turf Sports Facebook page, the Blue Turf Sports YouTube page as well is going to have um, the links uh, to all the different uh, vi live videos and archived videos, things like that. So appreciate you checking us out. We'll be back again, uh, 1.30 Pacific, 2.30 Mountain Time here on social media with Chris Murray to get to dive in a little more to the matchup uh, of this game uh, against Boise State and Nevada. Again, 3.30 Thursday, CBS Sports Network. We'll be back uh, shortly. The Mountain West Tournament is underway. The quarter, the uh, opening round games are going on right now. Wyoming uh, is playing against San Jose State. So you can tune that in, I believe, on the Mountain West Network stream. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the interview with Derek. If you're coming in late, uh, just refresh your page when I end the video here, and you'll be able to uh, rewatch the interview with Derek Olson Jr. Uh, from the start. So uh, thanks a lot. Be back shortly. BlueTurfSports.com. When it comes to concrete, we've got you covered. RowPaint.com offers custom concrete coating services for your garage, business, warehouse, and more. And we do it in one day. We are your complete concrete coatings solution.